The area of computer science that deals with image classification, object detection, video processing and so on is called computer vision. Due to advancements in deep learning, especially convolutional neural network or CNN, it has been possible to do amazing things in computer vision. In this video, we are going to look at some of the real life applications of computer vision. The first application of computer vision is image classification and object detection. This is something you already have on your mobile phone. Once me and my brother were walking in a park and we saw a plant which looked like a poison ivy but we were not sure. So I took my Google Pixel and Google Pixel has this application Google Lens. Use that. It immediately told me that this is poison ivy. If you touch poison ivy, it can create a blister on your skin. So it is very poisonous plant. And that was my first experience of using computer vision for a real benefit. Also, when I'm having so many pictures, you know, on my Google Pixel for finding pictures of fruits, I have to just write fruits and it knows to identify those fruits. So it is doing image classification underneath mostly using convolutional neural network and finding fruit images from all the images. Even to identify people, I have all these people, my mom, my cousin, brother, everyone, their pictures are there in my phone. And if I want to find someone's picture, let's say Harsh Patel is my nephew, if I want to find his pictures, I just uh, tag that this person is Harsh Patel and the computer, using computer vision, it will identify the images. So the image search, the object detection has been so much accurate uh, using a uh, convolutional neural network especially. The second application is in the field of banking. I never go to a bank to deposit my check. I have Bank of America account. I use my mobile application to deposit a check. When I take an image of a check, it will do image recognition. It will find out the check number, the amount, who is depositing the check and everything. I'm going to play a short clip by Bank of America. This is on YouTube. Depositing a check is simple with our Bank of America mobile banking app. Start by opening your app, signing into your account, and selecting Deposit Checks. Then take a picture of the front and back of the endorsed check with your smartphone or tablet. Hold your device steady directly over the check, and the photo will be taken automatically. Once both sides are captured, you can select the third area where it is being used is agriculture. I'm again going to play a video from Cambridge Consultant. It shows how computer vision can help in agriculture area. You'll see a clip where it will be detecting the apples on a tree and that can give you an estimate on your yield. As a farmer, you can predict how much yield you are going to get, especially when you have big farms you can use like a drone and do amazing things uh, in the field of agriculture so let's look at that clip if we look back the 20th century was all about making agricultural machines bigger but this clearly couldn't continue forever what we really need to be doing is looking after plants and soil at a more individual level so to do this we need to make machines smarter and smarter means taking care of plants individually weeding spraying and thinning or identifying fruit not just counting them but providing yield and size estimates what's missing is the ability for machines to discern plant health or to spot weeds amongst a crop artificial intelligence is about to change this machines can now be trained to recognize shapes and textures the example you're seeing is using the texture of leaves to single them out as weeds or as plants that need special treatment the commercial success of systems like these depend on taking into consideration the whole package, the software, hardware and the business case. We've seen these technologies make huge steps forward and we're already using them to deliver systems that just a few years ago would not have been possible. AI is making new means of farming possible, not just the machines, but the ways in which farming is done. So the question isn't how will AI affect your business, it's how will AI Improve your business. The next application that you all probably know about is autonomous cars. Here in US, if you get Tesla 3, Tesla Model 3 or any Tesla car, it has this 
auto pilot feature and I'm going to again play a clip and it works I have seen that working people can also summon the car so I was standing uh, in a parking lot with my friend once and his car was parked a uh, little far away it was Tesla model 3 and he summoned the car so car automatically came to us also when it, it, there was a rainy day and if my friend is shopping sometimes he has a little child so it might be hard to walk from the store to a parking lot because it rains too much and on that occasion he will auto summon his car and the car will automatically come to his place so these are again the real life application which i have personal experience and it is damn good and all of this is possible because tesla car has so many cameras it will detect all the objects and do the decision making in a right way all of this is possible because of deep learning and convolutional neural networks The next big industry where computer vision is bringing revolution is retail. Here in US, in New York City and in Seattle, there are Amazon Go stores. You might have seen the video, but these stores actually exist. And all these applications which we have discussed so far, they are happening right now. It's not like some dummy video. In Amazon Go store, there is no employee. Everything is done by robots cameras and computer vision. So let's see a little video clip on Amazon Go. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. These were only few industries I mentioned. Actually, there are many more industries. I'm going to link a video from Google. Uh, please watch that talk, because there they have mentioned in detail about applications of computer vision in various industries such as warehouse automation, damage analysis, uh, medical is another big one. So it is disrupting pretty much all the industries. And all of this is possible because of deep learning, because of convolutional neural network. In this deep learning tutorial series, next few videos are going to be on CNN, convolutional neural network. It is also known as ConnoNet. So we'll be doing Python coding will be going over various concepts. I hope it's you're going to like it. It's going to be very exciting. All the links of the videos, clips I've shown in this particular video are in video description below. So please check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And I'm very excited to provide more tutorials on CNN especially. So next few videos are going to be in CNN. Stay tuned. Thank you.